Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Higurashi When They Cry, uh, Mat Mat Matsuri Bayashi. That's my best, uh, it's my best attempt right now. It's been a little while, um, I was kind of, it's been a lot going on, and I kind of wanted to wait a little bit, but I think this is a good time to start. Someone did mention something about, I think it was like the new, what was it, the new anime or whatever that was supposed to be? Like, not, not the crappy one that everyone said was bad, but the new one I think was supposed to have been coming out. Yeah, it, j it just came out. Which, uh, it seems like a pretty good time to get started again, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. And hopefully you guys can forgive me because it has been a little while while I sort of reacquaint myself with what's going on in the story. But then again, to my understanding, when this stuff was originally coming out, there was all these, you know, gaps in time between them coming out, so it's, it's not exactly a foreign experience. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. The mod installer this time was a little bit different than it's previously been. I'm pretty sure everything's set up right, but it's, uh, it was, it took, it was kind of weird. It opened up a web browser and stuff like that. I don't know. Anyway, festival accompanying chapter. The riddle you've been entrusted with solving now finally becomes unraveled. What must be done to stop the chain? And what will happen in the ultimate end? It's a showdown between the conclusion you reached and the one I reached. There's no difficulty. You should understand that now. <laughs> All right, let's start. I don't know if I like the laughing children. Let's keep those out of here. Everyone is entitled to happiness. The difficult part is accepting that. Everyone is entitled to happiness. The difficult part is fulfilling that. I, too, am entitled to happiness. The difficult part is working out a compromise. The study was filled with piles of books and papers. In that study, there was a full-figured old man writing something at his desk in utmost concentration. There was also a little girl sorting out papers on the carpet. She almost looked as though she was playing with them. But the serious expression she was wearing made it clear she wasn't. うん、ありがとう。さてさて、前頭葉に矢部主とは別の意思を持った存在があることを予見したものだ。前頭葉は人間が人間らしくあることを司る部分だよね。そうだ。人の感情は心が生み出すのではない。脳という名の器官が分泌物を生み出して与える副産物に過
宿主を支配したりすることが広く知られているそして実際に人体内にその存在をたくさん発見してもいるにもかかわらず人体に潜伏しその宿主を支配する生命体の存在についてはかたくなに否定してきた家庭すらも含めてなどうしてだろうね人間だけ特別な存在のわけはないのにそれを仮定することはすなわち意思に基づいた言動や信念を疫学的原因から派生したものと置き換えられて対処策もそれと同様とみなされる危険があるからだ。Yeah, we were just losing dialogue on occasion. That's not good. There were some options for like newer versions of this、uh, patch that were apparently supposed to help with audio bugs that sometimes occur. If that happens a lot, I may attempt to repatch it. We'll see. And if one were to treat bad thoughts or the spread of culture as an epidemic, It's sounding oddly, you know, <laughs> similar to, to, what I'm, to what's going on right now. するとその死体は焦燥となるさらに患者が触れたものまで衛生のため全て没収して焼き捨てる身近の家族にも感染の疑いがあるから強制的に入院させねばならん、so、they'd hospitalize healthy people over individual ideas. 思想を病気と置き換えなさい完治するまで退院させない触れたものは感染の疑いがあるから全て焼き捨てる家族にも感染の疑いがあるから強制入院でも思想なんて個人の自由なんでしょベストとは違う。If an idea was created by parasites, it would be exactly the same as a plague. つまり、思想は治療不可能な伝染病と置き換えられるわけだ。Yeah, this is happening a lot. <laughs> so you mean anyone with a different idea is treated like they have a disease? そういうことだ。この考えを延長すると、無差別、そして無秩序な大量虐殺が起こる。そうすると人類は大規模な粛清を肯定してしまう論調になりかねだから脳内で宿主を支配する生命体を語ることは今の時代ではタブーになっているのだタブーって触れてはならない考えてもならないということだな。だから誰も研究せんいやそれどころか脳内に侵入し影響を及ぼす存在がいると考えることすら忘れられている万物の超たる霊長類を支配する未知の生命体などいるはずがないと頭から決めつけている<笑>なんだかお粗末な話いないことの証明なんて悪魔の証明絶対に不可能なのにその通り悪魔がいることを証明することはたやすい悪魔を連れてくればいいのだからなだがいないことを証明することはできんいないを連れてくることなどできんのだからな<笑>なんだか脳を支配する生命体が自分たちの存在を秘密にするためにその宿主の人間たちを操っているみたい Me and my grandfather shared a happy laugh together 
人間も自然界の生き物の一つに過ぎ食物連鎖の頂点にいるだけでそれをもって神格化された存在であると思い込むなど愚かしいことなのだ人とてあらゆる微生物やウイルスに支配されうるのだその存在が今日まで発見されていないからといってそれをもって存在しないという証拠にはならん絶対に存在する必ず存在するのだ科学の世界にもたくさん存在が仮定されていてそうだそれらの仮定をした科学者が全て生きているうちに評価を受けられたわけではない。よまいごとだとあきれられその正しさを証明できなかった科学者も大勢いたのだでもおじいちゃんは生きているうちに証明されるといいねじゃなかったらおじいちゃんがかわいそう大丈夫だよ神様は努力するものを見捨てたりはしない努力は必ずいつか結実するのだいつかってそれはいつ神がいつ降臨されるのかは誰も知らないそれは例えるなら泥棒がいつ訪れるのかわからないようにだから予期せずしてその時を迎えて不信心であったことに歯ぎしりすることがないよう常に目を覚ましていなさい That was something that my grandfather said all the time. Nobody knows when efforts will bear fruit, but it will happen one day. That's why you must always work hard so you have no regrets when the time comes. Your efforts will bear fruit someday. That's what he meant. But, my grandfather is living in the future. That was such a cruel thing to say, but I didn't mean to be cruel. I had seen how hard my grandfather had been working, and I also knew he wouldn't live forever. I just wanted his work to gain recognition before he died. Do you know of the resurrection of Jesus Christ? Yeah. He was crucified and resurrected after three days. You told me about it. How do you think Jesus was resurrected? Didn't he just get up as if he was waking up in the morning? He was buried after his execution. So his body was in the ground. Did he break open the tombstone and crawl out like a zombie? Uh, this, is, this is no no more no more audio. That that was it. We got it all at the beginning. Ha <laughs> ha no. That wouldn't be called a resurrection. The sinners who killed Jesus imagine the exactly the same thing. Jesus predicted just before he was executed that he would come back to life after three days. The sinners buried Jesus, sealed his tomb, and posted guards to watch over it. But what Jesus meant wasn't that he would resurrect physically. He meant his teachings would be resurrected. After three days, Jesus' teachings were resurrected, and people regained their belief. The hearts of those who wanted to be shown the proper way revived his teachings. That's what the resurrection of Jesus is all about. He came back to life in the hearts of his believers. Jesus doesn't exist physically on this earth. But he exists in people's hearts. In other words, that's when Jesus became an existence superior to humans. Even if it's after the author's death. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> So, I know. I know. I know. I know. 
だから自分が生きているうちに評価されることに焦る必要はないのだその時が訪れるのが私が生きているうちなのかそうでないのかそれは神様にもわからないだがその日は必ず訪れるだからその日の訪れを疑うことなくひたすらに努力を続けなくてはならないのだよ It was very sad to hear my grandfather say that his life would end one day. He wasn't ill, and he didn't only have a few years left to live. But set next to the average lifespan, his remaining years didn't look like much. The only person left in my life was my grandfather. So I didn't even want to consider what it would be like with him gone. Grandfather must have remembered that I didn't like to talk about that subject. With a tender smile, he gently patted my head. もちろん、おじいちゃんも自分が生きているうちに研究を認めてもらいたい。だから、精一杯頑張るよ。うん。私も、おじいちゃんが世界中の人に褒めてもらえるように、いっぱいいっぱいお手伝いする。I purposefully didn't mention the before you die part. I caught myself before I said it. <laughs> Grandfather smiled in satisfaction. His research wasn't exactly outrageous. He wasn't trying to uncover the mysteries of the universe. He was only searching for the possibility that parasites could be responsible for human behavior. Nothing more than that. Nothing outrageous. It really wasn't a wild idea. We even had some leads. Hinemizawa Village, Shishibon City. The villagers there are possessed by a powerful homesickness. When they're unable to return, they allegedly behave abnormally, as if they're cursed. There are also some bizarre rules in place in the village based on their belief system. When he was working with the military during the war, my grandfather noticed similarities between the people in Hinamizawa and assumed that some kind of existence was responsible for their odd behavior. He'd been researching it ever since then. In the middle of the 20th century, numerous strange diseases were discovered all over Japan. Most of them were caused by infectious parasites. And people started to pay attention to this forgotten field of study. Grandfather's research was simply one of the investigations into such diseases. Therefore, he believed it would be published amongst some other research and attain recognition soon. But if, if his research didn't bear fruit before his death, I wanted to continue it. I wanted to continue his research. Grandfather taught me. Resurrection isn't something that happens physically. It's when your life's work is appreciated. That's what he meant by resurrection. That's when he'll become a god. So when my grandfather dies, he'll still be with me forever. I wouldn't have to be alone ever again. I will always be with my grandpa. Our works will gain recognition. And we will be both to become gods, gaining eternal peace. Sure, kid. I will make my grandfather into a god. I will become a god. Oh, this is, I don't know, this is starting to sound a little culty, but. Therefore, we will be granted eternity. We'll be together forever and ever. And that's how I started my first cult. <laughs> Now we're into spooky music. I'm going to slightly boost my audio. Shouldn't really make a big difference for you guys, but it helps me a little bit. I was looking at the key on a keychain. The key was labeled Hen House, but the lock Eriko was trying to open didn't belong to that door. It should have opened effortlessly. At least that's what was supposed to happen. 
but it didn't open. I noticed beads of sweat forming on Eriko's forehead. She was the one who came up with this idea. Eriko was starting to panic. The rest of us started to panic too. This only opens the hen house. Let's stop. Let's go back. Shush. I, I didn't hear anything. We were supposed to be cleaning out the hen house. If they found us back here. If they found out why we were here and why we were trying to open up the lock to the back door. Then all four of us were sure to be sentenced to splayed piggy. Don't panic, Eriko. That key opens this lock, right? You already tried it, right? Will you shut up for a minute? This is the right key. It's just hard to open, that's all. She was almost shrieking. So actually, I'm gonna... Like I said, I'm gonna keep... Um, I'm gonna keep playing for today. But I do want to make a save here really quick. So I can try to repatch this game. This will give me a point to know, like to go back to and see if the audio is working or not. Because if it's not working here, and I repatch it or try some of the experimental stuff, and it does work, then I can tell if it worked or not, you know. Our hearts were pounding loudly. It was as though the sound of our heartbeats was echoing throughout the hallway. And at that point, we heard footsteps that didn't belong to a child. Shush! Somebody is coming! The three of us held our breath, but Eriko didn't hear it. She kept fussing with the lock and the key. As if everything would be okay if she could just open the lock. Eriko, somebody is coming! Be quiet! I know this is the right key. I'm not dreaming. I already tried and it opened. Come on, why isn't this working? When this lock is open, we can be happy, and we can say goodbye to this hell. Eriko, someone's coming! And, and they blew up the building. Well, I'm gonna assume that didn't go well. My father and mother died. I don't know exactly how old they were. I was too young to remember. They went shopping without me, and that must be why they were punished. It was a train accident. What a terrible disaster. A lot of people died in that incident. But maybe my father was one of the lucky ones. He was still alive when he arrived at the hospital, so he was able to share his final words with me. My mother died instantly. I didn't want to admit that this person I could hardly recognize was my father. As I called out to him, I hoped it was someone else instead. Actually... Is this what's, uh... Is this what's causing the problem? This voice matching level? Maybe that's what I need to do. Hold on. Well, I'm, I'm hitting F2, but I'm not getting any, like, response out of that. Uh, oh, yeah, that worked. I guess that doesn't really help me to know what level I'm on. There's supposed to be five levels. I guess, can I do that through settings? No. That's kind of annoying. Maybe that's what I'm running into. I'll try it next time some audio comes up. But unfortunately, it was my father. Maybe I shouldn't have woken him. Because when I woke him up, he was reminded of the miserable agony that he had forgotten. <laughs> Otoza! 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 
He tried to move his right arm so he could pat my head. But his arm was wrapped in bandages and his hand was no longer there. I couldn't find his hand anywhere on the bed. I had only had scary memories of his right hand. His main job was to slap me when I did something bad. But I never wished for it to be gone. Besides, that hand also patted my head. Even though that only happened a few times. It was a big warm hand, and it stroked my head very gently. But no matter what good deeds I did, he could no longer rub my head. No, his hand was the least of his worries. He had to go into emergency surgery. The doctors already warned me that the chance of him surviving was very low. That was why I was allowed to see him, regardless of his condition. Not only could he no longer rub my head, he might be gone forever. Yeah. お父さん、きっと元気になれるよね。なれるよね。よく聞きなさい。お父さんはダメかもしれない。もしもお父さんが死んでもお前はしっかり生きるんだよ。嫌だ嫌だ。お父さんは元気になるよ。お医者様がち